hello everyone welcome to today's tutorial if you are new on this channel you are welcome so today our tutorial is going to be on how to make a mini half circle skirt this skirt we are about to learn how to sew is very easy your material that you be need or your materials rather that you be needing is your fabric your ruler your scissors your chalk your tailor's chalk and definitely your sewing machine so since it's a mini skirt we are making we don't really need much um fabric we just need fa a fabric sufficient to accommodate both the waist circumference as well as the length of the skirt so first of all what you are going to do is you are going to fold your fabric into two just fold your fabric into two not into four not into five just two. please let's take a minute to understand some points before we go further for your half circle skirt you need to divide your waist circumference by three that is if your waist circumference for instance is 30 inches divided by 3 will give you 10 and that is the measurement we are going to be using for the waist circumference on the fabric so as I said we are going to divide our waist circumference by 3 the waist circumference that I'm using is 25 inches so I'm divided by 3 using a calculator it gave me 8.333 there is no 8.333 on my measuring tape so I just made use of 8 inches instead so if your own is giving you a whole number just use your whole number and we will explain how you can go further from there so please when you are folded your fabric make sure you have one open edge as well as one closed edge so next thing we are going to do is to place our 8 inches um, measurement on the fabric we are going to measure it on the two edges the open edge will measure 8 inches there and we also move to the closed edge and measure our 8 inches there so next thing we are going to do now is to begin to measure move the tape measure little by little and begin to measure the 8 inches from that tip all the way around to give us a circular shape so we'll just take it little by little till we get to the edge the other edge of the fabric and then we'll just highlight the little little lines that we have marked so that we will know that this is our waist circumference so next thing we'll do is to use our measuring tape to measure this circular shape that we have made and it's supposed to give us the waist circumference our normal waist circumference divided by two after getting your normal waist measurement divided by two then you just pick your tape measure and just fold it into two and just fold it into two and see where it stops on your tape measure what you're supposed to get should be your waist measurement that is your normal waist measurement as your waist circumference plus an inch for your zip allowance if you do that and you get less than your waist measurement or you get exactly your waist measurement you know that you need more that is you need your zip allowance so you are just going to add to the measurement you used assuming you use nine inches for your this circular shape that you drew you use nine inches and it did not give you your waist measurement divided by two when you measured it all around it did not give you your waist measurement divided by two plus your extra inches that you need for your your zip allowance then you need to add about half an inch or so for you to be able to get that extra inch for your zip allowance it's better for it to be more when you measure it so that you can always trim it off mine was a little over 
25 inches it gave me 26 inches and three quarter so i'm going to be trimming off the three quarter because it's just one inch i need for my zip allowance so we're going to be moving over to the length of the skirt and remember that it's a short skirt that we are we are going to be sewing so the measurement or the length of the skirt that you have taken should not be below the knee or on the knee it should be above the knee so the measurement i'm using is 15 inches as the length of the skirt what you would do is to just place your tape measure on the line that you have already drawn which is supposed to serve as your waist circumference you place your tape measure starting from that point and then you begin to measure your length of your skirt plus your folding in allowance you can decide to use one inch i used one inch you can decide to use one and a half inch just depends on you so you begin to mark it all around to meet the other points i'm measuring 16 inches all the way to the other edge of the fabric next thing is to begin to connect these short lines that you have drawn just the way you did the other you connect it all the way to the other edge next would be to cut it off from the remaining fabric and then we will cut the upper parts So you could just remeasure it so that you could confirm what you'll be cutting off and then just mark the extra all the way down and use your scissors to cut it off. So just keep this aside and move over to the band because we'll be needing a band for our skirt. So now it just depends on the size of your band. I decided to use two and a half inches so you can choose to use any size that you want but shouldn't be less than two inches if it's less than two inches it will not really bring out the beauty of this skirt so i'm going to be using two and a half inches so what you will do is that you're going to fold it sufficient enough to take the size of your band plus your seam allowance assuming the band you are using is also two and a half inches that is the width of your band is two and a half inches please you add half an inch to it so your total width should be three inches so you could just mark it all the way while your length will be your waist circumference plus three inches allowance just in case you want to put a hook and eye so you just use your ruler to connect the lines that you have drawn so you will know that that is where you will be cutting through so next thing you do is to open up your band then you can add your stay whichever stay you are using hard stay soft stay medium stay hair stay just depends on what you want so me i'm going to be using hair stay so as you're pressing it you see those two edges of your band you fold it by half an inch and make sure that you use your iron to press it just to indicate that the half inch is your seam allowance so back to our skirt what we're going to do is that we're going to measure eight inches from our waist point we're going to use a loose stitch to sew to that eight inches then uh, we're going to back stitch at that eight inches point then use our normal stitch to sew it to the end and then when we are done we'll lose it again and we'll attach our zip to the eight inches point then next is to fix our band to the skirt we add our band remember that we have left half half inch seam allowance already we have already left it on the band so that is what we are going to be attaching to the band when we are done with that we are now going to take in our one inch folding in allowance 
and this is our beautiful skirt i hope you were able to follow through this tutorial i would advise you watch it again before you start to do yours and i hope this tutorial was helpful if it was please don't forget to subscribe like this video and also share it and see you in the next video bye